He must become greater. I must become less. John 3 and 30. Imagine if you would a small coastal village that relies on a lighthouse to guide ships safely to shore. This lighthouse stands tall and bright and its light pierces through the darkest night and through the fiercest storms. Nearby there is a small lantern in the window of a fisherman's home. This lantern provides light for the fisherman to see his way around his house and its faint glow compared to the powerful light house and its beam is, is dim. But well, one day the lantern begins to feel proud of his light and it thinks I'm important too. Because without me, the fisherman would stumble in darkness. But as the lantern's pride begins to grow, its light starts to dim. The fisherman noticed this and he gently reminds the lantern that the light, that your light, yes, it is helpful. But the lighthouse guides the ships and it saves lives. You must shine, but not outshine the lighthouse. And in our spiritual lives, we are like that lantern. We, we have to have our own light to shine, but it is Christ, the true light, who must shine brightest. John the Baptist understood that when he said he must increase, but I must decrease. Our role is to reflect the light of Christ and not overshadow his light. When we humble ourselves and let Christ's light shine through us, we will guide others safely and salvation will be theirs. Just like the lighthouse guides ships to the shore. It is our responsibility to guide others and to point others to him who is the light who is our savior, who is the one who can change our lives. We must understand that it is our responsibility to be that voice that is crying out in the wilderness. We are to be the one that make people aware of the gospel. We are the ones that allow to, 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 to open up the, 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 the concert of, of God's grace and God's mercy, but it is God that does the rest. We must allow him to teach them. We must allow him to change them. We must allow him to do what he must do in, our, in their lives and in our lives too. We must decrease that he might increase in their lives. Listen, we are not the savior. We only have the responsibility to point them to him and he will do the rest. Let's pray. Lord, allow us to be the voice that you would have us to be in this season. Allow us to point them toward you and allow us to get out of your way that you may do the work that you must do in them. Allow our light to show so, so, so shine, Father God, that they may see you. Father, thank you for choosing us. Thank you for choosing us to be your hands and to be your feet and to be your voice in a world that needs to know and to see you. Now, Father God, as we go forth, allow our light to so shine that man may see you and come running to you and surrendering their lives to you. Father, we thank you and we praise you.